Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to accept friend requests in this social networking website project by using Ajax with PHP script. In previous part, we saw how to remove a friend request notification alert after viewing friend request. So for accepting friend requests, we have clicked on this user icon. So here we can see a drop down menu has appeared on the web page. And under this, we can see the data loading process. After loading friend request data, here we can see friend request list with accept button. So for accept friend request, we have click on accept button. After clicking on the accept button, here we can see the button has been disabled. And after accepting friend request, that friend data has been removed from the friend request. So this feature, we will learn under this part. For this feature, first we have created a dynamic ID in accept button. For this we have go to friend action.php file and go to load friend request list block of code. And here we can see accept button code. So here we have write an ID attribute equal to accept friend request button with dynamic value of dollar raw request ID variable. So it will create a unique dynamic ID for each accept friend request button. After this, we have to go to the footer.php file, and here we have write, dollar with drop down menu class, drop down menu, with click event, so when we have click on drop down menu area, then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write event.prevent default method. It will stop to close drop down menu from web page when we have click on the area of drop down menu. Below this, we have write request ID variable is equal to event.target.get attribute method. And under this, we have write data request ID attribute. So this code will check if we have click on accept button. Then it will fetch the accept button, data request ID attribute value, and store under this request ID variable. Now we have write, if statement and condition, we have write request ID variable value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. If this condition true, that means, user has clicked on accept button. Under this block, we have started to write Ajax request, with the first option URL set to friendaction.php, so it will send requests to this file. In the second option, we have a write method, and here we have used a post method for sending data to PHP script. In the third option, we have to write data. And here we have defined data which we want to send to the server. So here we have defined request ID variable value and action variable with value like accept friend request has been sent to server. In the fourth option, we have to write before send callback function. This function will be called before sending of Ajax request. Under this function, we have write dollars with accept button ID, accept friend request button with dynamic value of request ID variable 
with attribute method, and under this, we have write disabled, so it will disabled accept button. For display loading icon in accept button, here we have write dollar with button ID accept friend request button, with dynamic value of request ID variable, with HTML method, and under this, we have paste this HTML code, so it will display the waiting icon in button. In the fifth option, we have write success callback function. This function will be called, if Ajax request completed successfully. Under this function, we have called load friends request list data function. So if accept friend request process is completed, then it will call this function, and it will display remaining friend request data, under this drop down menu. So here our jQuery code is ready, now we have go to friend action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to accept friend request. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have written a dollar query variable that is equal to update friend request table. Set request status is equal to confirm, and in where condition, we have write request ID is equal to dollar post request ID variable. So this query will update the value of request status table, based on value of request ID value, get from dollar post request ID variable. For execute above query, we have write dollar connect variable with the query method, and under this, we have write dollar query variable. This method will execute above update query and change the request status column data. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in the browser. Hello friends. Here we have logged into Linda Peary account, and in previous tutorial, we have seen, this user has received three friend requests. For see friend request, we have clicked on this user icon. After clicking on the user icon, so here we can see a drop down menu has appeared on the web page, and under this, we can see the data loading process. After loading friend request data, here we can see friend request list with accept button. So for accept friend request, we have click on accept button. After clicking on the accept button, here we can see the button has been disabled. And after accepting friend request, that friend data has been removed from the friend request list. And here we can see the remaining friend request list. So in this part, we have learned how to accept friend requests. And in the next part we will learn how to display accepted friend data on a web page.